this is a six row repeat worked on a multiple of two. For my sample, I have 20 stitches. I'm using DK weight yarn and US size seven needles. And the edges are not very neat. So depending on how you plan to use the stitch, you might want to add a border. For row one, slip the first stitch. And then the repeat is just purl one, knit one. Purl one, knit one, all the way across the row until you get to the last stitch. And for the last stitch, you just purl. Row two. Again, you just slip the first stitch. And then you purl one, knit one, until you get to the last stitch. And again, the last stitch, you'll just purl. For row three, I'm going to slip the first stitch, purl one, and then the repeat is yarn over, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch, over your knit stitch. So yarn over, slip one, knit one, and pass the slipped stitch over the knit stitch. For row four, you're going to start again by slipping the first stitch. And now we're going to bind off until we only have one stitch on our left needle. So I'm just going to do the regular knitted bind off. So I knit the next stitch, knit the next stitch, and then pass that first stitch over the second stitch. So I'll just continue doing that until I have one stitch left on the left needle.
So the last stitch is just going to be purled and you will have something that looks like this. You have your slip stitch from the beginning of the row. This is your last stitch where you bound off and then your purl stitch. So when we turn this around for row five, we're going to start by slipping that first stitch, purl the next stitch, and now what we're going to do, we have to put all of those stitches on that we bound off, and we're going to be working into the yarn overs that we made before. So you can see these holes here, and those holes are what we'll be working into. So find your first yarn over space. You're going to take your right needle, go in from front to back, wrap the yarn twice, like a double yarn over, and pull those through. Now we're going to go in with your right needle from back to front into that same yarn over space that we just worked into. Wrap the yarn twice and pull it through. So you should have something that looks like this. Okay, find your next yarn over space. Go into the front, wrap the yarn twice and pull it through. Then come in from the back, wrap the yarn twice and pull it through. So you'll be double wrapping twice in each of your yarn over spaces all the way across the row and that will add back all of those stitches that you bound off. And don't miss your very last yarn over space right next to the stitch on your left needle. It's kind of tricky that last one. Okay, so then for the last stitch, you just knit. So 
So this is what you have after row five. And for row six, first we are going to knit two together and drop the extra wrap that we made on the previous row. So when you start row six, it's going to look like this. You have a stitch and then your double wrap. So if you just take two strands, the stitch and one of the wraps, knit them together, and then slide them off the left needle with that other wrap. Kind of like knitting elongated stitches. And then next we're going to be working in purl one, knit one, dropping the extra wraps as we go. So here's my next stitch and it looks like this. I'm going to purl. and drop it off the needle. Here's my next stitch. And just knit and drop it off the left needle. So you can see it kind of looks like an elongated stitch. So you just purl one, knit one across the row, dropping those extra wraps. and purl the last stitch. And just repeat those six rows for the pattern. Again, this is the back. And then this is the front.